Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your annual angel card forecast for 2017. I'm going to be pulling 12 cards, one for each month. And instead of doing like the uh, typical circle spread, I'm going to do just some rows of cards here because I have limited room. <laughs> it worked out well with the tarot wand, except you know they were falling on the floor a little bit if you watch the tarot video so these cards are bigger hopefully they won't fall on the floor <laughs> we'll just do what we can so i am using the oracle butterfly oracle card for life changes and i started to pull them and i was just directed to shuffle in between the next four so i'm doing that i just do I just do what seems right and I trust that that's what's supposed to be done. Okay. So, two more. I chose the butterfly oracles. Oh, yeah, these guys are going to fall. <laughs> I chose the butterfly oracle cards because the tarot spread was actually very, very good. It indicated a lot of um, big changes and a lot of new beginnings coming this year. And so I figured the deck for life changes was probably the most appropriate thing to go with. Um, I briefly considered the the healing. Uh, I'm not sure what I did for last year. I probably should have gone back and looked, but um, I don't feel like we need healing this year. After, and I know that's kind of weird to say as I sit here <laughs> in the end of 2015 with everything that's been happening, um, but I just, I don't feel like next year is going to need a big focus on healing. I think there's going to be a lot of change, and so we need to see what the change is going to be. So, got all 12 of my cards out. Let's start with January. They're all face down, so I don't know what any of them are yet. So, let's start with January, and we have family changes. Okay, so something's going on with your family. You could be expecting, um, you or, you know, someone you love, someone you consider family, it could either be, you know, family direct. So, you know, you find out you're going to be, a, if, you're, if you're not going to be a mom, I'm using mom because I'm female. If you're not going to be a mom, you find out you're going to be an aunt. Or it could be like your best friend is having a child. And so they are part of your family. Like they're who you consider family. And so um, that could be considered like a family change for you. Like you're excited because your best friend or someone close to you, friend or family member, is expecting. On the other side of that, right, there's always two sides. There could be someone experiencing loss, right? And it can be um, the death of a loved one. It can be the death of someone close to you. Um, of course, loved one, I'm thinking family member, but it could be friend. It could be that a friend's parents, you know, passed or something along those lines, but it could also be, you know, anyone that you love, right? So it could be a pet. Pets are family members, and that would be a family change. So it could be a good change. It could be a bad change. Um, I know I'm thinking about birth and death, life and death. It could be that you're moving. It could be that you get a new job, or your spouse gets a new job, and so you found out that you need to uproot your family and go somewhere else. So... I know, I always start out with, like, the most dramatic things. <laughs> Sorry, it's how my brain works. Um, so, either way, in January, you're going to be experiencing some family changes. February. Religion and spirituality. I don't know if I showed you the card here. Just in case I didn't show it to you. That is, trying to get it out of the light or close enough so you can see it. There you go. That's the family changes. Sorry. Okay, back to February. Religion and spirituality. So perhaps you are supposed to be reassessing or refocusing on your belief system. I don't know if whatever is going on with the changes in January, perhaps it is a death and perhaps it's something that hits home to you a little bit and makes you kind of mold things over or reconsider. Um, sometimes when big things happen, when there's like the loss of a child or something that's very impactful like that, it can make you think, it can make you rethink your beliefs. Why would God let that happen? Something like that, you know, that's not uncommon 
for people to feel. And so some of you may be questioning or reassessing or just changing what you believe. Again, it doesn't have to be prompted by something big and, and dramatic like that, but it could be, um, and actually just totally contrary to what I was just saying, what just came to me is like, it's February, it's Valentine's Day, and I had a picture of um, like a proposal or a marriage with a discussion between the parties about like, are we getting married in a church? You know, you may have a different religion or spiritual belief than your partner, if you have a partner, and it could be something like that, where, you know, the two of you are just talking about it, or having some sort of a conversation where it comes up, and it could be, as I said, like, are we getting married in a church, or it could be like, hey, we've never really talked about how our belief systems are different, is this a problem, <laughs> or, you know, something along those lines. Okay, March. End of an era. Ooh, interesting. So, let me get it closer. So, something's coming to an end. The old way, whatever that old way is, isn't going to work for you anymore. And this falls in March, third month. It's the first, the end of the first quarter of the year. If you pay attention to, you know, the quarters, three, four, three month quarters, right? So, with this being in March, it kind of makes sense, right? You've got the first quarter of the year, and it seems like you're clearing out. Whatever you had going on before, it's not going to work anymore. <laughs> That's not the way we're going to be doing things anymore. It's the end of an era. It could be job changes. It could be uh, partner changes. It could be anything. But something isn't going to be the way it was anymore. There's going to be a a pretty big change coming. Again, doesn't have to be the way we automatically think of change. It could be that you just decide you're not going to carry around your baggage anymore. You know, if you've had one thing that you know is not for not good for you to be carrying. So like if you're judgmental and you've always been judgmental and you're you kind of thought that's how you were always going to be. Um this is you being like, you know what, I'm just not I'm just not going to do that anymore. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort. And who am I to be saying anything about other humans? That's the end of an era. Releasing that is the end of an era. So um, it can be something big and external, or it can just be something within yourself where you've just decided to let something go and release something, and it's just not going to be anymore. April. Parental care. Okay. So, let me get that close. So, um, get in contact with your parents. If your parents have already passed, um, then this could be a sign if you are a parent. It could be a sign of self-care. Um, if it's just you alone and you don't have children and your parents have passed, it could be a message from the other side. Look at yourself. What would your parents be saying to you right now about how you're handling things or um, how you're living your life? What kind of advice would they want to instill on you? And what sort of um, things would they say to you? Are they proud of you? You know, so this is really kind of like getting in contact and healing any sort of damage or issues you may have in a relationship with your parents or your in-laws. Um, if any of them are still alive, this could be taking care of yourself and looking at how you parent if you have children or just looking at how your parents would feel about you if they've already crossed over. Okay, May, get some rest. God, it's the fifth month. You've been doing all this work. Let me get out of it. There you go. You've been doing all this work. You've got some heavy things going on here. Major changes. But we knew this was going to be changes, right? It's the deck about life changes. <laughs> so we've got, you know, major changes going on here. Errors ending and care and family changes. It's time now. 
to just take a break. May is the time. If you're in the northern hemisphere, it's going to be spring, right? This is the time to just do some of that self-care, to just kind of like rest and relax and do some me time. <laughs> do some meditations, you know, get back to your hobbies, take a bubble bath, <laughs> whatever you need to do to kind of like rest, relax, and rejuvenate. It's time to recharge your batteries. You've been doing a lot of work, a lot of really good work, and this is the time to recharge those batteries. June, sixth month, sixth month of 2017, and we have hobbies. All right, that ties right back into getting rest, right? What was I just saying? Figure out, you know, what you like to do, get back to you, get back to spending um, your extra time focusing on yourself and relaxing, and that involves, over here, that involves picking up any hobbies that you may not have continued. Maybe you had so much going on the first half of this year that you really haven't ever been able to finish that knitting project or whatever your thing is. Maybe you've wanted to, um, you know, like redo the kitchen or something and that's been kind of on your mind and something you like to do or it's a hobby and not an obligation. <laughs> so maybe you've wanted to like, you know, even if it's like interior design, not like actually remodeling and ripping things apart, maybe it's just redecorating and that's something you really want to do. This is getting back to you. We've got this fifth month where we are resting and relaxing so you can pick back up the things that you like to do. July, all right, we're in the second half of the year now. Okay, July 2017, we have moving. Mm, some of you are gonna be moving. There we go, get it close enough? Okay, so if this is actually like a relocation, um, which would make sense with the examples that I was just giving about, you know, redoing your house or whatever, Things come to me for a reason, right? So this could be for some of you actually relocating for whatever re reason. Relocating for a job, um, relocating to be closer to family members if you do have that parental care up there in April. So maybe you have some parents that need you and you need to move closer to them. Or if you're not actually like moving your house or moving locations, this is just getting out and moving your body. It's July, right? <laughs> this is the, the July card. Get outside. Go do some things. Go exercise. Go take advantage of the summer months. Again, in the Northern Hemisphere, right? Get out and get your body moving and get active. My dog is not happy. <laughs> okay, August. We have You're Stronger Than You Know. What I'm getting here is that you may feel with all of these changes going on that it's just taking a toll on you, right? Maybe that time to rest in May wasn't enough. Or maybe, because now it's August, maybe it was just so long ago that you were doing really well when you had the time to yourself and then things have just picked back up, you know? It's summer. August, the end of summer, so you've had maybe a busy summer, or you're getting ready to, um, you know, send the kids off to school, or you going back to school yourself, or, you know, coming into fall, or starting to maybe get a little anxious thinking about the upcoming holidays. In September, we have uh, Labor Day, if you're here in the U.S., and that kind of heralds in the, the fall, and it kind of says, like, you know, here come all the holidays. <laughs> So, you know, you might be kind of starting to feel that in August. And I'm getting a very strong, like, back to school something. And so, again, if it's not you um, or your kids, you know, maybe it's someone you know. Like, I'm getting a very strong back to school. And it may be that you just feel um, overwhelmed with all of this. Like, as I started to say, like, that rest in May wasn't... <laughs> it's too long ago now for you to feel, still feel, you know, relaxed. This card is saying, like, you can handle it. Like, yes, there's stuff going on. There's always going to be stuff going on. But you're strong, and you can handle it. And if you need to, go back to that resting and relaxing. Everything will be there. 
You don't need to try and take care of everything either all at once or all on your own, right? There's always people around who love you and who are willing to help you. So know that you can handle whatever is thrown at you and just make sure to ask for help when you need it, okay? It doesn't mean you're weak when you ask for help. Asking for help is something strong to do. All right, so September, right? What do we got? Take the next step now. Again, I'm going to say this is that, there we go, waiting for it to focus. This is that back to school thing for me again, you know, like you are starting, you know, an enrollment process and you're kind of scared. Um, and this is not just for like kids, you know, elementary school, high school, or this is not for y'all in your, in your 20s going off to college or if you have kids going off to college. This is you. This is you who's watching this. So if you have always wanted to learn something or take a course in something, these August and September cards are really just screaming school at me. So this is the go-ahead. This is the green light. This is the take the next step. Don't be fearful. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what people are going to say. Don't tell yourself you can't do something that you want to do or try to talk yourself out of it. It's time now to take the next step right? That's what this is saying. Take the next step now. You've got plans. You've got things you want to do. It's time to move forward with those. I know I'm using school as an example because that's really what's coming to me for August and September, but that's not going to be for all of you, obviously, of course. Um, whatever project that doesn't apply to you, whatever project you have that you've been working on um, that you feel kind of like overwhelmed from August, overwhelmed or defeated or like you, you don't think you can do it, this is the green light. I mean, August was saying, you're stronger than you know. You can do it. Go ahead and do it. And then here's September saying, yeah, go ahead and do it. <laughs> Move forward with that project. Move forward with those plans. Um, you can handle it. Now make it happen. Okay, beautiful. October we have support. So if you are, let me get down there. If you are afraid that you're not going to be able to do whatever this thing is, what was I just saying? I was just saying that you can ask for help. You are loved and supported. You know that you have people around who can help you accomplish the things that you can't accomplish on your own. And you are loved and supported. Not just by your friends, not just by your family members. These are the angel cards. <laughs> you're watching an angel reading. <laughs> FYI, if you didn't know, um, so know that the universe, God, angels, guardian angels, um, your personal life guides, all of those entities are out there loving and supporting you. And if you need help, all you need to do is call on them. All you need to do is ask for help. And however you do that, I know um, some people, I meditate. And some people have a certain ritual or a certain specific um, act or place that they go to, you know, church, right? Some people have a specific place that they go to to ask for help. However you do it personally, if you need help, ask. If you need to feel loved and supported, just go to that place, however you do it, and get that support from the angels. November. Memories. Hmm, are you feeling nostalgic this month? It is the end of the year, right? If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving during the month of November. This is where you kind of, you give thanks for all the things that you have, right? But this time of year, you also start to look back, right? And you, I guess you do that no matter where you are. <laughs> but you know, towards the end of the year, you look back and you think, okay, what happened through all these months? And you're kind of reflecting and you're remembering and you're being grateful for the experiences that you had and the growth that you've had. And you're remembering happy times and of course also the sad times, which you're supposed to grow from. <laughs> so this card in November is just kind of like telling you that you're going to be feeling that. You're going to be feeling that nostalgia and that um, kind of life review to have 
you know, the memories fill you about what's been going on over the past year, where you have been, and where potentially you can be, and what you want coming up, right? It's a lot when a lot of times when people reflect, it's because they want to see where they've been, where they are now, and then how things can be. So it's going to be going on in November. In December, we have sobriety. All right. Now, if you don't have um, specific addiction issues, right, because we're talking about getting clean, okay, that's generally, you know, kind of synonymous with sobriety, whether you have an addiction to alcohol or whether you have an addiction to drugs, those are like the main two um, addictions. There's also addictions to food. There's also addictions to drama. <laughs> yes, you can be addicted to drama. I'm just saying. Some people are like, I don't want drama. I have found that a lot of those people are the ones who absolutely like drama. <laughs> so if this doesn't mean um, for you, you know, specifically drugs and alcohol, like it automatically comes in people's mind, it could be looking at what other sort of like addiction you have and getting clean from it, right? Sobriety. Getting the negativity out of your system, the, the bad, the things that are bad for you, clearing them out of your life. And that's where I started this. This is getting clean, right? So if you are one of the lucky people who does not have any sort of addiction to anything, not even addicted to drama, <laughs> if you're one of those people who doesn't have an addiction, think of this card. It does still apply to you. Think of this card as getting clean, detoxing. What do you need to detox from your life? What do you need to clear out of your life? Is it negativity? It might not be something you're addicted to, but it could be something that you need to clear out. Negativity. It could be clearing your physical space. Just consider this card a end-of-year purge. <laughs> That's what just came to me. Just cleaning everything out. We're in December. It's the end of the year. We're about to go into another, you know, start 2018. By this time, we're going to be about to start 2018. What's happened here in 2017 that you just need to, like, <laughs> wrap it all up in a ball and throw it away because you are done with it. Sobriety, getting sober, getting clean, clearing out your life. That's what we've got going on. I told you, major changes, major changes going on this year, but it's going to be very healthy. You can grow from it. It's going to be uh, lots of opportunities to have growth and change, new opportunities here in August and September coming up, and then clear out whatever is mucking you up from the year and get ready to move again into yet another year. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull an angel card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Also, make sure to check out the monthlies and weeklies, which are always free and on YouTube, and that's going to help clarify what's going on each of these months as we go through for the rest of the year. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing 2017.